uh, if heaven is our goal, and, and that seems to be everyone's goal, what guarantee do we have that uh, an episode like Lucifer will not happen again? And how is it that Lucifer and the bad angels ever came to be if heaven is perfect? Yes. So uh, just like anything, as God created the heavenly beings, uh, they just wanted more. And through that, the rebellion started, a mutiny. And God said, no, we can't deal with this. And so, of course, God and his angels won and cast him out. And that's, that, that could be, why did God create the earth? Oh, these people are rebelling. But then someone could take that further, trap you in your words and say, well, why would a perfect God create something that could then fail? Because if Lucifer was a heavenly being created to be good, why is he bad? And I think the answer to that is that God gives everyone a choice. Just like here. We have a choice on are we going to live for God and do what he says out of our love and devotion or are we going to start living for ourselves and do what we want and then end up having all kinds of bad things happen. And so that could be a really good example um, for us of that's what happens when we start to think that we are better than God or we are wiser than God or we know more than God is we fall. And we've seen that time and time again, uh, not only through the rebellion of the angels being cast out of heaven, but then also the, the fall of, of mankind where they, the serpent or the, went to Eve and said, you can have knowledge just like God, but you'll be here on earth. You can reign everything. And what she didn't realize is God had already given them dominion over everything. So they were tricked. And they ate the forbidden fruit and then got cast out of the Garden of Evil and they realized the knowledge of good and evil. They, they before lived in that ignorance, in that bliss of everything is perfect. I, I don't need to do anything. Did they work? Probably. But their work didn't feel like work because they didn't have to do it. And so then when they had that knowledge of good and evil, they realized, oh man, we don't have any clothes on. Or, oh no, this, this sheep died. Why is it dead? What is, they probably didn't know what blood was. And, then, and all sorts of things started going wrong with the earth. Weeds were coming up, thorns, all these plants that they had never known of. You know, they, they all of a sudden had to start going through these things. We don't know maybe if they had children at that time. We speculate they didn't, but maybe they did. And she had a couple kids with no problem, and then all of a sudden, you will be cursed during childbirth. So the reason I say we don't know if they had kids before then is because in that scripture, if God is cursing her during childbirth, and she's like, I don't even know what childbirth is, you know, how, how could that happen? So it's possible that they may have already started a family before that curse happened. 